If you're like me, you're probably wondering which bag, duffel bag should I get? A Gucci Large Savoy or a Keep All 50? So I got both here and I'll try to go over some of the differences between them. So here is the Louis Vuitton Keep All 50. It's a special edition. It is mostly calf skin. Everywhere you see black is calf. The monogram Eclipse is a uh, coated canvas. Super cute. Um, and the middle has that detail. Um, you'll see that the LV monogram is right side up on both sides. That's because there is this piece of leather that runs across and it allows it to separate the pieces into two separate leather pieces. Um, there are some mistakes that if it's uh, upside down, if the LV is upside down, then that means it's fake. It's actually a continuous piece of fabric that goes all the way around. And since it goes all the way around, the monogram gets reversed. That's not the reverse monogram. Reverse monogram is actually a gray background with darker prints on it. So this is the Bandolier 50. Uh, it has a bandolier here, as you can see. Um, the strap does not have the little rivets in it or the dots um, that you can see on some of them. Um, it does have rivets where the hole goes in, so over time the lasting um, wear of this piece is more durable. Um, you can see that the clip is the easy, almost D-ring style you push in and you can disconnect or connect. So, it comes with a little lock. It's uh, LV on one side, and then it says Louis Vuitton Paris on the other. If you open it up and undo this buckle, this is to help the handles come together instead of it flopping around on both sides. You can have it together at all times. If you undo that, and you open the bandolier. I put bubble wrap in it so it maintains its shape a little bit longer. You'll see that there is only one pocket. There isn't two. In March of 2019, LV decided to get rid of their date stamps instead of using a date code. They now have this RFID chip where you can scan. Actually, I've tried scanning on my phone and it's around this area here. You can scan it and then it'll um, give you a little prompt. LV stores are able to authenticate it using that and makes um, repairing a lot easier for them. Other than that, you have your name your name tag here, luggage tag, in case anything gets lost. You never want to put your address in case you're away and people find your bag. They know you're not home, so just be careful. There's uh, different adjustable sizes here. You can shorten it or lengthen it to what you need. So this is a 50 centimeter bag. This is approved for carry on. You can actually go a little bit larger, maybe a 55 LV keep all would also work. So I'll put this down and I'll show you. The large Gucci Savoy. This is a new uh, part of the new collection. So is um, that bandolier, but this is Gucci's line. It does feel a little bit heavier. It is quite a bit bigger, but you can see their monogram throughout the whole luggage here. On the bottom, it does have this protective um, little studs, these little feet you can set on the ground. The Louis Vuitton does not have that, but it does have similarities as this name tag comes with it and um, a lock as well as a crochet for your keys. So let's undo this and see what it looks like inside. So this also has a pocket on both sides. A pocket on both sides, it's pretty spacious here. Same on the other side. 
pretty spacious. One thing I did notice is that the LV did have a key ring on one side so you can hang your key and when you're traveling you could just set it there. This is definitely more spacious than the Louis Vuitton. Uh, another difference is this zipper goes all the way down, almost all the way down to the bottom, whereas the LV, it's only on the top, and I'll try to show you those differences now. LV, just the top. Gucci, on the bottom. You have your GG Marmont signal, signal um, logo there. Very iconic. Very nice. And again, the Louis Vuitton. Let me put this back. So this is calfskin leather, unlike the G, G, the Gucci. This is all monogram con canvas. It is coated. This might be more durable over the long term, but this definitely is more premium. Some airlines might not allow you to take on this large Savoy only because some dimensions um, of some airlines restrict the length and width of bags. If you're trying to travel, uh, 50 centimeters, probably a safer bet, unless you want to check it in. I'll show you the key ring now. You can see here, this is the key ring I was talking about. I'll hold them side by side so you can see the differences. Overall, if you're trying to choose between the two, I don't think you can go wrong. I think the Gucci is a little bit heavier, but it does pack a lot more things. But if you pack more things, it'll also get even heavier. So just keep that in mind. This is a, sh a short overview of the two different bags. I couldn't find any photos or videos online comparing the two. So hopefully this helps someone out there.